Hey guys, so um, this is from 6 1 23 at 2 30 in the morning, and it's um, Be My Voice, Hear the Voice of the Lord, and Focus on Me. So, the first one, Be My Voice, Say My Words. I forget how nice it is to be under the curtain of stars. Imagine how many people over time have been called my people. I showed Abraham the curtain of stars and said his people would be like this. Can you see it? Can you imagine? The number through time who have rightly called me God across the whole earth? This is a vast number, harder to guess than beans in a jar. But I, the Lord God, know each one. Each one is precious to me. I know the number of hairs on their head, their eye color, their family line, the specifics of their DNA. I created them. I created you one of the vast number of those who believe in me. It is hard to grasp the vast number. You live in a time where those who believe in me are few. Imagine being in amongst such a vast number of like-minded people. It is surely hard for your generation. You have had to be strong to stay with me. I am the one and only God. Soon, you will be with your people, where all shout praises to me, where all love me without fail, where applying what I request is the normal response. Imagine, soon you will be celebrated. All of the vast number here await your arrival. All of those you read as the heroes of the faith, plus thousands upon ten thousands that you have never heard of. They simply lived a quiet life, faithful for me. Consider over time how many this must be. Consider the impact an enormous amount of people in agreement could be, like the power should they choose to move together. Like the shout for joy from a group of people larger than an entire stadium. Consider a forever filled with stadiums and stadiums and stadiums of people who all love, share joy, are kind, and only see the good. What impact would this have on the feelings, the mood of everyday moments? Think of the marketplace, the gatherings, the passing by one another, the tasks done together. I know it is impossible since you live in a dark time. So let me tell you, you will rejoice. All God's people together forever. All sin, evil, selfishness, unkindness, all eradicated. The eternal kingdom will be the best of what you love about life minus the worst of what makes it difficult and painful. Look forward to the blessed hope. Look forward to a forever with all joy and true happiness. I know it is impossible to see, but try. Fix your gaze. Imagine millions with the love of Christ all in one place with no negativity. Imagine no conflict, no deception, no decay. This awaits. Have hope. The eternal kingdom is in sight. Leave the connection to your world. Yes, you live there. And it is difficult. But do not love anything in that world. The one awaiting you is beyond your imagination. I love you and have brought my son here to prepare a place for you. All heaven watches. They look upon to see your choices. They are praying for you. They are all in hope that you make only the best choices for me. You are my mystery to them. Those that can be a voice for me in such darkness, you shine. You stand out. And even from here, each believer appears as a yellow dot of light on the earth. You are the light of the world. Sharing my words and my love. Be my voice, share my words, be the love, true love, and share my son with others. Soon, the masses will be waiting. They will be broken and ready for you to share the gospel, their homes and finances affected. If you share the hope of the eternal kingdom with them, through my gospel message, they will hear. In their losses, if you offer them Jesus, I will be sure that they can only see your love, kindness, and goodness, so they are attracted to what you say. You will be my beacon of hope in a hopeless moment, 
Anyone you help and share how to accept Christ as their Savior, I will bring them to me. I will bring them to you. Be bold for me. Speak my hope. Help the half-borns to find me before they have to make a choice between me or man's solution in the false Messiah. Be warned. Warn others. When the false Messiah comes to the public stage, you will know, if you are mine, I will give you discernment. Help others to see through your eyes and encourage Christ. All words against the false Messiah will be collected and stored to find people. Speak not his name. Do not speak poorly of him. Only offer Jesus to others. Ignore that the false Messiah exists. Just stay hyper-focused on Christ and sharing Christ. The onlookers will be able to see the variance between the true one and only Messiah, Jesus Christ, and the false Messiah. Keep to your mission. Speak the name of Jesus to others and share his life, death, and resurrection with them. Share the hope of heaven, the land of bliss, where all have Christ-likeness and none seek evil. Be my voice. The second one. Hear the voice of the Lord. Today is my day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let kindness rule in your hearts. Changes are coming. Changes are here. The plans of the evil move forward. They set traps for those who lack wisdom. The kings of the world have devised a plan to trap the people. Do not trust the trap you are about to see. They are part of the trap. There is a vast network of evil who work together behind the scenes. They will trade everything for money, and they have no moral compass. What is to unfold will be shocking. But keep in mind, it will be for the purpose of entrapment. Do not be deceived. Keep your focus on me. Do not allow the plans of the kings to change that. As the summer solstice draws near, be reminded this day is also a day of dark sentences for the kings. They meet in secret. Be warned. Pray with sincerity against them. I will not stop their plans, but I can alter how they get to them. Pray for the unsaved, that their hearts are open to me. Pray for the faithful, that they obey my words and know me well, so they are not deceived. Pray for the anointed, so the enemy is bound from them, so they can prepare well to come back to help you. Pray for the mighty angels, releasing them to keep guard over your ways. What is building? What is coming? The only way through is fixed on me. Focus on me only. What you are to see soon will be deception upon deception. Disengage from hearing the voice of the world. Woe to those who do not heed my voice. Woe to those who accept the deceptions. Woe to those who leave me because of deception. I warn you because I love you. Heed the warning, God. The third one. Focus on me. The chaos, the event, it is about to hit. A human uprising, bold but brief. Stay clear of it. Focus on me. I am love. I am truth. I am Jesus, the one true Messiah. I came to the earth to speak my Father's words to the world. I came to be the propitiation for sins, for all who want to join my covenant. Focus on me. Read my words. Know them. An imposter is about to arise in your days on this earth. He shall pretend to be me, the Messiah. Know my words for he will surely misquote them. Know my father's words, for he will try to make new understandings of what they mean. This is wrong. Do not take part. Seek me and my father and ask for discernment and it shall be granted. When you see the man who is a falsehood, it shall make you uneasy. Do not disregard this feeling. Some, even in your household, may be enamored by him. Pray boldly in private for all who will be exposed to him. Pray they feel the unease of discernment. Pray. Changes are coming. Changes are here. 
Remember, they are meant to entangle and deceive. Recall, I am love and truth. I am the only way to my Father. Fix your gaze upon me. Prepare yourself today. Pray with full faith. Pray without ceasing. Do not delay. Time is short. Every day forward makes a difference. Jesus. So I hope you find that encouraging and hope you have a great day.